Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn about how to make the outer corners. So here are the few reference images for the outer corners. Basically outer corners is a project molding outside the building. So you can see this is the outer corners. The sharp edge, the finishing this precise finishing we'll try to do it in the dialogues evo today okay so i have already downloaded one autocad and imported in the dialogues evo i'll be sharing the link to download the autocad file in the description so basically in this drawing i have different cornices so i will show you this in the plan as you see i have so many different types of cornices here We are going to make a outer corners with two projected moldings like this and it has to meet here and there must be a sharp projection like this okay so let's go and try it in the dialogues Evo. it's very simple you need only the concentration here so starting with we'll be using the extrusion volume draw extrusion body make sure you are in the plan view so the first thing is you are going to trace the whole section of the cornice okay you will start by placing the points So you can check this in the plan view okay now we are going to rotate it say it is 90 and minus 90 okay it is 90 and 90 you can even extend the length of this cornice let's apply some texture to this okay now my cornice is done but it is only the one side so i need to make the other side too for that I'm going to simply copy this and rotate it. Go into the plan view, control C, control V. Use the rotate tool and rotate it. Now place the one edge of the corners to the other end. So that this two merges. Okay. So I have copied and placed it. But you can see my two corners though i have placed it i don't have that sharp ending like this you know something sharp like this okay so it is not uniform not correct so how i'm going to fix this is the first thing the second block which you have already placed move it back select the front view click here and you can select the front view now here are my two extrusion volumes this is the first one and this is the second one right so this is my front corners and this is my side corners now watch this step very carefully we are going to draw again another extrusion volume but a little differently so watch it carefully first we'll trace all these points let's start
Now when you have to close the polygon, don't go to this way. Instead, trace it on the other way. So make it a little bit down the other point. And close the polygon this way to the outer side. Okay. Then close polygon. If you feel like some of your points are not accurate, click on this edit polygon and here you can edit it add point like here add point and you can even adjust the points okay what you have to do next is once you have finished drawing the extrusion volume let's move back this extrusion volume for now and this new extrusion volume you are going to take it a little bit back and the very easy step here is select this and the new extrusion volume go to the boolean operations and subtract it so whichever extrusion volume is appearing pink in color that is the difference you are going to get so i want this to be my difference so Okay, now you have to subtract it. Click on subtract. And this is done. I have cut the extrusion volume and now I'm going to place it properly like this. Let's go and check. And you can see the outer corners now. Perfect, right? So we are going to do, we have finished doing it in the in on only one side so let's go and do on this side also so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy my first extrusion volume Control c Control v rotate it finished on the other side also right so this is how you make the outer corners you can see the precision i hope i explained it in a simple way and uh, hope you found this video helpful guys if you really found this help video helpful then please do subscribe to my youtube channel hit a thumbs up and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you